Put him in and like... You don't want to See, we're sharpening oh, the pack. Welcome to Doodles and <laughs> Tea. Look at this teacup, this is incredible. This was sent to me from, and I've got the little note here, mm. Miss Solanum, and she was very kind and sent me lots of little things to play with, including a thing that was gift wrapped, and it was all putty erasers, much to Adam's Mr. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is though, I'm kind of glad that you were given those, because you won't make ones that we use all stinky and nasty. Oh, this is the tea that we are drinking over here. Green tea with peach. Is there anything else you want to talk about before? I'm, I'm just trying to stall because of what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> you should show them your drink. It's yeah. like a magic elixir. Look at this. I'm drinking like mana potion today. I'm going to need all the energy I can get to get through this stuff. Oh, and there is something else to talk about. So you might remember from oh, one of the no. previous Doodles and Tea, we got this guy. Then shortly after, this guy turned up. And now you're never going to believe this. <laughs> But this guy's turned up. <laughs> and no, none of them have come with notes. No Who are one, they from? No one's owned up to any of them. Who are you? What is this sick joke <laughs> that you are doing? Our friend Fedron sent this big sheet of uh, Daniel Smith watercolours. It's really fancy. And, we, and this one. No, the Winsor Newton ones came from someone else. Oh, okay. But we don't know who sent these oh, ones. Oh, so these so, are the mystery ones, the yeah. Winsor Newton ones are. Comment down below if it was you yes, so we please. can give you a pat on the back. Uh, just so we can say There's thanks. More on the back of this Oh, one. Lord. But the Daniel Smith ones are so fancy that you only get one sheet of them. Oh, Daniel Smith, I mean, he's a wise man. Just, can you tell that I'm having no part of this. I mean, I'm, I'm here for moral support. But, <laughs> oh, thank you. I do enjoy it. I mean, this is swatching. This isn't This isn't me, but you guys wanted this, so I'm here. Oh, I'm so hyped about this because there's 66 colours on the <laughs> sheet. <laughs> now, I haven't decided if I'm going to do these ones in this video as well. Maybe that'll be a future Doodles and Tea episode. We'll see how we'll my see. mental health is after, <laughs> after these first six. God. Did you show them you drink? Yeah. Believe me, I'm going to be drinking in this. <laughs> okay. So this one is called Amethyst Genuine. Okay. Oh yeah, there it goes. Ooh, yeah. I have to admit, it's quite magic how like um, the little dots sort of come to life and you can see all the different tones in them. I do really like that. Yeah, while I was um, looking at these online, I saw that there's a thing that Daniel Smith do called I think it's called something like confetti or something. Ooh. And it's basically you can get like sheets uh, with little swatches on so that you can test out all the different colours. Okay, so that's an amethyst, which is quite a deep purpley colour. Is that what colour that is? I didn't know what colour that was. <laughs> oh yeah, Adam's colour blind. <laughs> Need to throw that out there. <laughs> Just for anyone who didn't know. You know what I would do to swatch these? I bet I could do this in like two minutes. What? It's just that, you know on the left edge here, on the left side? Uh-huh. Uh, just run a tap. <laughs> oh my god, that would be dreadful. Just run a tap over it. I can't believe you don't even enjoy swatching your pencils. That's not even like a colour related thing, that's just you being no. cranky. <laughs> I don't get it. No one in the comments, whenever we talk about swatching as well, no one in the comments ever agrees with me. <laughs> Everyone's always like, oh, swatching is life, and oh, swatching is so satisfying, wow. It's the excitement of like a new paint, a new colour. What colour is that one? Kind of black. <laughs> like a grey black. Black tom tourmaline? T tourmaline or something? Sounds like an ointment. <laughs> yeah. What does the P mean? These all have big P's. Uh, all the guide to it is down here, so P stands for Primatech. I wonder if I should... I can zoom in now. If you leave it on there, I can zoom it in for you guys. No, it was like cut off the screen. You wouldn't oh. be able to zoom in, I'm afraid. <laughs> Primatech. Yeah. And what, what, what is... Um, am I asking questions that you might not know? What is Primatech? Uh, unique colours made with authentic mineral pigments. So glad you asked. I just knew that off the top of my head. <laughs> you did not. You read that. <laughs> that did not sound like you. You would have said something like, glitter magic. <laughs> Glitter magic. <laughs> oh my god, if there was a Daniel Smith paint called Glitter Magic, I would do it. Bloodstone. Ooh. I thought that this was going to be like a red because of the, you know, the blood, but it's looking like another black. 
it's clearly old blood. I feel like uh, maybe some of the least exciting colours are on the top raw. I'm not, but... gonna, I'm not gonna lie, the first two <laughs> look the same to me. <laughs> And then the second two look the same. Yeah, that's an epiphany. Maybe that's why I don't like swatching because there's some exciting ones down here. Look iridescent. Ooh. Ooh. This oh. one has like a nice bluey hue to it. This one might be one of my favourites on the top raw. Blue appetite. Appetite. <laughs> I can't say the the text is so small and I'm not <laughs> bronzite genuine. So is that brown? <laughs> Make it sound a bit more mystical. <laughs> Magic brown. It might even have like a metallic y to it. Brown. I wonder if it says at the bottom. Ooh. No, it says light fastness, if it's a staining colour or non staining colour. Brown. Just realised because it's a Primatech one, yeah, these top ones are probably all going to be very minerally coloured because they're made from like rocks. <laughs> <laughs> burnt so, this tiger's is like, eyes. So is this made out of like burnt eyes? Probably a rock. I, I doubt it's something that Peter's going to get involved with. Oh, okay. It's definitely got a strong rock collar. Brown. I'll give it that. <laughs> Thank you. It is brown. Diopside Genuine. Oh, that's got a very strong collar. I mean, it's green, but it's definitely the brightest collar we've had. Can the you brightest, that? well, that's the most vivid so far. Yeah, even I can tell that. Hun. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Fuchsia Genuine. <laughs> Is that its name? Oh no, it few sight. <laughs> few sight. <laughs> I'm over here trying to pretend to know how to pronounce That's what it. I say when I see you swatching. <laughs> is it teal? Yes. <laughs> it is teal. Oh no way. Yeah, well recognized colorblind boy. Well, you taught me about teal recently. I thought it was gray. Garnet genuine. Garnet is a nice red. She was also one of the crystal gems. Who's that? Who's that? that? Steven Universe. Oh. <laughs> Can you tell I didn't really watch that very much? I well, watched a few episodes. It's been a few years. You, you might be let off, but a few years ago you would have been murdered on the internet really? for that. Yeah. Green. Green. You're not going to say appetite again, are you? No. I was going <laughs> to. Genuine green appetite. That's when you want to eat lots of vegetables. The guinea pigs have those. <laughs> Genuine green. <eyes. laughs> I bet everyone's like screaming at us. Is that blue? It's kind of a grey colour, I think. Grey, yeah. Yeah, again, another like rock pigment. I'd be very impressed if I saw rocks that were like these colours. I love like, how like, bright those yeah, are. Yeah, like in the ground and stuff, yeah. This one is violet. Genuine. Is that violet? Yeah, I was expecting that That's one to be a bit more purpley colour. It's interesting. That. I mean... It's more... Maybe it's got like a slight purple hint, but it's quite a browny colour, I'd say. Earthy. <laughs> Earthy. Yeah, that's sort of like a, a more aesthetic way of saying... Brown. Uh, brown. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Jade eye. Oh, I think we've used this before in the Rocker Girls one. Jade yes, eye. that one rings a bell. We'll have to link to that video above because Adam owns a couple of these collars. I do. The rock ones. The amount he's giving them a hard time and he oh, went no. out and bought them. I'll be honest, I'm trying my best. Kyanite, genuine. I don't even know what colour kyanite is. That that sounds like a rock. It's grey. Rock official. Oh, lapis lazuli. So that's going to be like a blue colour, right? Wasn't that one of Stephen's gem friends? <laughs> Stephen's gem friends. What? I, honestly, I can't remember. She had short hair and she was blue. The, That's a really nice one. That I, might be one of my favourite ones so far. <laughs> it's interesting because it's like one of the weaker colours, but you love like pale pigments. Being weak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's your favourite thing. No. Oh, Mayan blue. This one should be nice. Mm? Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that one. Do you have this one in your set, of course? No. <laughs> are you sure? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I feel like you might have that mine all, mine all have like names like Jadeite and like rocks. <laughs> Rockite. I don't think I'd ever get hired to name colours. It, it might be a fun video idea. Colourblind man names colours. Oh no. You What, like you do a whole bunch of swatches and then I have to name them? Mm-hmm. We you, could do that. Guys, do you think that's a good idea? You have to become like the uh, CEO of Crayola for the video because I'm sure that's his job. <laughs> he just comes what? up with the, the crayon names. I want to do fancy paints. I'm a fancy boy. I don't know what it is like with like fancy watercolours, but like even if these didn't have the name things underneath, I think just by looking at the colours you could be like, 
Yeah, those are fancy paint. Yeah, I feel you like you I could mean? from the iridescent ones. Yeah, on. it's just and, like you can just tell. And some of all, like these little light fast marks and things make it look pretty at fish. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice, that's red, right? Yeah, it's red, not fuchsia. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm saying that because of like fuchsia. Yeah, you're like, thinking that's... like the plant or the flower rather. I thought fuchsia was just like a pink, was it? A... Fuchsia's a flower, something, yeah. Oh, could you put one on screen as like an educational moment? A beautiful fuchsia for you guys. Oh, you have to like really drag the colour out of this one. He's a bit reluctant. That means Adam would love this colour because it's so I'll weak. Give it such a good stabbing with the brush. <laughs> like, oh, come here, reveal your secrets to me. So, so your light, genuine. Is that like what you get on, like people get on their legs and, and stuff? You're thinking of cellulite? Yeah, oh yeah! <laughs> I'd be like, why would they name a colour after? <laughs> Genuine cellulite. Oh god, that's horrible, isn't it? Like, oh, you've got some slugulite. It's like, oh, like I'm, I'm all moist. And <laughs> <laughs> okay, you'll be pleased to know after this one, we have done all the mineral tone ones, so we are getting into maybe some quirkier colour territory. Well, I think this has been fascinating so far. Okay. I've learned lots oh. about rocks. This one's burnt orange. See, that's... Oh yeah, look at that. That's a nice colour I like. That is an orange that's been in the oven too long, yeah. <laughs> See, it, that works. Burnt orange. Scarlet. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like these tones are more like my kind of... I don't know, I, a bit further down there's some nice looking ones that I think you'd get. Ooh. Quinsridone. Quin... <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Deep gold. I wish I'd just said that part now. <laughs> I sound uneducated Let's call it now. Quincy deep gold. <laughs> Quincy deep. I always feel like coral sounds like you're trying to say Carl in like an American accent. Fuchsia. Oh wow, look, an actual fuchsia. Yeah, we've been talking about fuchsia and it's not that fake uh, fuchsiaite stuff, it's the real stuff. <laughs> not that fake fuchsiaite stuff. <laughs> Oh, you know something else that I've been on a hype trend with recently? Mm -hmm. Jelly cat plush? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, oh, it's like Steph's new obsession. Yeah, yeah. I am really obsessed with it because uh, Adam originally got me like this little acorn guy. I did, oh. that was uh, a couple of weeks ago. No? I'll have to send you a picture. I'll oh. put it on the screen of the acorn. Group. Yeah, and then someone from our wish list sent me a friend for my acorn man and he's... Um, a mushroom. Little mush plush. I believe that was from someone called Anita. I think so, yes. I Whoa. remember someone who sends me a mushroom off the top of my head. You never forget someone that sends oh. you mushrooms. And then our friend Peppermint Cutie. Oh my gosh, I've got to take a moment to properly show you this. Yeah. Because, uh, like, look at these. These this, are more jelly cats. This is a pencil sharpener. And then look at the size of this pencil friend that it comes look at this with. thick boy. He's huge. And He's got like a little hole in the top, so you can actually like oh God, put him in and like. Oh God! You don't want to See, we're sharpening oh the pencil. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do this one sheet, I reckon, because it seems like I, I'm a slow swatcher. Oh no, but it's nice to like even coming from me, right? One, this was a gift. I don't want it to be rushed because it was a gift from. I'm Frankie. not gonna rush it. I'm having and a good time. And it's very sweet. And two, um, you don't just want to swatch it and not talk about the color because. The whole point of swatching, like you said, is to be mindful and like look at the colour, make it like, do you like it? Do you hate it? Like I don't, I, I wouldn't want to rush, rush this thing. I'm really hyped about like these pinks and reds. Like uh, when I was first getting into watercolours and I was asking one of my friends who's like much more professional at this stuff than me. Is it me? No. I was asking what the difference is between, you know, uh, the, what do you call them, professional colours versus student like grade. the student grade ones. Yeah. yeah. And they were saying you can definitely see the biggest difference in any sort of red coloured paint because in the genuine ones you get some really bright colours but in the uh, student grade ones they tend to be a lot more like watered down. And, oh, okay. Yeah, and you can definitely see that you're getting like really quickly getting really bright red vibes coming from these. A lot of these reds look the same to me. <laughs> it's okay, Adam's uh, red green colour blind. And like blue and purple and red and but pink. Lucky and... for him, sometime soon we'll be able to order him those uh... Indoor glasses, yeah. Indoor oh, that'd be so glasses. cool to do swatches with those. See, I would do swatches with that. 
Yeah, that'd be cool to see. We do have another swatch sheet here, so you could even... You want me to do that, guys? Do you want me to do the next one when we get those glasses? Let me know. Also, if you ever send us anything, uh, feel free to like comment down below to let us know what it is that like you sent or um, to ask if like it arrived or whatever, because... You asking people to ask if it arrived if we've made a video on it? <laughs> no, I mean, if people have sent something and we haven't made a video Oh, I was going to say, because... I was gonna say. <laughs> you think Fendron is going to comment on this be like, Did that swatch card ever come? No, I'm, I'm pretty confident that they know what's going on. Oh, okay. Here. The only, like I, I think I've said in a previous video, that the only reason that we ask do you make yourselves known is uh, just so we can thank you, but... Shower you in love. Yeah, but if you would rather you know, l like not leave a, like a little message or your name or whatever. That, that's totally valid too. It's entirely up to you guys. Cascade Green. Ooh. That reminds me of, can you remember Cascada? Everyone in secondary school when I was showing my age now. <laughs> I don't, I don't think so, Grandma. Who's it's that? like when rave music was popular. Oh, that's a really nice purple. Look at that. That's nice. That is her. Oh, wisteria. wisteria. That sounds like a magical, like, fairy colour. I was going to say, like, a witch, like, <gasps> wisteria. Oh, I really like that one. That's a good one. That's nice. Yeah, I, I already feel like if I was to uh, buy some of these paints, you know, based on the colours that I've seen on here, wisteria is definitely one of my tops up there. Yeah, that's nice. Has there been any colours that you'd be hyped to get? Uh, I like the wisteria one. I like the lapis lazuli one or lazuli, however you want to call it. I like that one. But like, but then again, like blues and stuff are like my favorite color. So I think I'd probably gravitate to that anyway. Yeah, we'll have to get his opinion on these uh, once he gets color vision, <laughs> once he upgrades to software 2.0. When, once my color blindness is cured, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll, we will return to these. Oh, I quite like that. Is that blue? Lavender's sort of like a, a bluey, purpley, lilac y kind of. It kind of looks like the sky to me on a really sunny day. Yeah, it is. It's a nice colour. Although some people can't stand lavender because they think it smells like grandmas. Oh, don't be mean to the grandmas. I know, I'm a fan of grandmas. A grandmas like natural musk is like lavender. Payne's blue grey. Oh, yeah, it's like a stormy, like a storm cloud. Ooh, that's a nice description. See, Adam can get creative when he wants to. Brown. <laughs> the next one might be a bit brown. Yeah. <laughs> What's like a, is that like a light brown? Mm-hmm. I like that one. That one's like, it's really warm. I yeah, guess. it's warm got more color. of like a, a musty yellow kind of hue to it. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, you like the color yellow too, don't you, pig? It's so nice just seeing like the little dots come to life I with color. I have to admit, yeah, the satisfying. Swatching them, it really does bring them more to life, doesn't it? Ooh, Luna Black. Ooh, that one, like, well, comes that... to life so quickly. It just be, you've just turned it into, like, a rectangle <laughs> of, like, the same colour. That's really dark. Yeah, that's the kind of thing where I feel like I wouldn't be that interested in that if I saw it advertised online, but it was quite exciting to play with that. Oh my gosh. I don't know, like, if you're gothic, you might get excited. We're getting into iridescent town now. I am so hyped for this. Now, we might have oh. to do a thing where we hold up, like, the card and give it a wiggle so that you can see, like, what these colours do yeah. when the light reflects off it. Yeah, this one, you definitely have to sort of, like, soften it up to get it... To get it to reveal itself. Yeah. <laughs> That's like me. I can barely see it. Oh, no, there it is. It's coming out. Yeah, it is. It's, it's just taking... It's sweet time. Yeah, there we go. I can see that now. These... A quick little wiggle to see if I can... I have to admit, I think I like the iridescent ones because they're more watered down. Well, that makes them sound like cheap, doesn't it? But more... I guess transparent's probably the best word in my vocabulary that I have, but... They're very subtle. I think there's going to be a lot of uh, heavy petting with these ones to get them going. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Who taught you heavy petting? <laughs> Is that not a watercolor terminology? Don't they say that like at the school prom? They say like, no heavy, <laughs> no heavy petting, leave room for Jesus. <laughs> leave room for Jesus. Jesus wants to like cut in, so <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, why are you doing this? This is my time. Look at this little cloth thing that I'm wiping it on as well. It's, that's very colorful too. Your little rainbow rag. <laughs> Iridescent ruby. Oh, oh that's grand. <laughs> 
Adam's a big fan of my accent. Oh, everyone is. Everyone likes how you talk, hon. You're a, you're a strong northern female. Oh, that's a no I, that I like. Again, it's blue, but I like that one as well. Yeah, that's a very Adam blue. Again, that reminds me of, like, the sky. Like, the electric blue and lavender, you get, like, a really nice deep sky if you mix those up. Some of the ones that I think I'm most excited for are, um, this one called Cactus Flower. Oh, okay. This one, it looks like it's got sort of, like, a purple and a bluey sheen to it. This hibiscus one's quite a pretty looking colour. Does that say professional shimmer? As opposed to unprofessional shimmer. Well, these are exp oh no, per pearlescent. Okay. <laughs> I'm far away today, so I can't see, I can't see them as well. And this one's sapphire. My uh, buff stone is sapphire, as a September buff day. Virgo alert. Adam's an Aquarius. I am. It's not a buff stone, but at least it's, it's a fact something. about you. I'll take anything at this point. I cannot see that one. Yeah, it's, it's very, very fine. Very, very one. subtle, which means you'd probably love painting <laughs> oh, this. <laughs> wow. I bet if you use this on like um, like all these ones on black paper, you'd probably be able to Ooh, yeah. see like the magic of the colours a lot more. And will you give me some good shaky footage to show what these do under like light when they're wiggled? Yeah, what we'll do like when you've done them is uh, we'll move the camera and uh, we'll we'll give you guys that mm, that oof, the shimmer moment. I keep checking to make sure there's still water in my brush, but there is. It's just. Uh, I think this. I think this whole row is just very, very uh, subtle. Very, very subtle. Compared yeah. to like how dark we started with the top. Yeah, ones. maybe that's why they've done it. I can definitely see the differences between them, but they are very, very like uh, faint kind of pigments. Which work? Which one? This is meant to be red. Yeah, interference red. Oh, but it, it doesn't really have much of a red. Say. Look to it. It looks like you know when you get like a grease stain on paper. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is such an unattractive way of wording this. And that's like, we're gonna rename interference red to grease stain red. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's nice. I there like we go. that one. Look, this, see that one? The stuff coming out of that one. That one's nice. Yeah, I like uh, stronger pigments. Well, you have this. Well, all you've got to do is look at your artwork, and you, yeah, you look, I like, like very super colourful, vibrant colours. Yeah. Duo Saguaro Green. That sounds like Sagittarius. Isn't it Sig Saguaro? Saguaro. Yeah. Oh, I can finally play with Cactus Flower. This is the one that wants. This I'm is the one that you've been hyping this up like no one's business. Let's have a look. Ooh. Yeah. Again, quite subtle, but um, that one is quite nice. Yeah, you can definitely see that it's there. It doesn't look like a grease stain. Also, I'm noticing that some of these uh, other ones, now that they're like drying, you can see like a bit more magic happening with them. Ooh. Again, like when, we, when we've got them all, I'll move the camera so you guys can see it properly. Because top down when you're doing stuff like this, you can't really tell with like glittery paints and like markers and stuff. Hibiscus. Stuff yeah, like hibiscus tea. That's why I was excited about yeah. this one. That's not too bad. Again, yeah. it's subtle. It's a nice, like, magic. Well, the colour. way you've the way you've swatched that, it looks like a magical fried egg. <laughs> Apart from it's like bright pink. I'm yeah, but sure. the yolk is pink. <laughs> Does anyone else see that? <laughs> oh, this one's quite a nice one. Cabo blue. Look at that. That's nice. That's quite pretty. That reminds me of like the ocean. Yeah, I do quite like that one. I like. Uh, you know what? I have to admit, I do like all of them. It's nice, like, I don't know, maybe, is it hard for you guys to, like, visualise what the colours would be like before you swatch them, because... Some, some of the darker ones Yeah, are some of these are like, I had no idea they would come out, like, as vivid as they are. I thought they'd be more muddy and dark, but, uh, I mean, look at the colour, especially the middle ones. The, uh, oh god, I don't even know what they're called. The Quinn ones. Oh yeah, apparently that whole series is called the Quinn... Quincredone. <laughs> no idea how those you ones, that. Those ones are so vivid and nice, I really like them. Pearlescent white. Now, yeah. don't be surprised if this doesn't show up. <laughs> you might be able to see it like under the light when it shimmers, so I'll give it a good... a good wetting. Use, use your stabbing technique, that seems to work quite well. 
So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this colourful swatch-a-thon. I didn't think it was too bad. Do yourselves a favour today, self-care and watch this other colourful video on screen. Da 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 da! And don't forget to sub so we can see you next time for another Doodle Day. Another Doodle Day! Bye!